Hi, this is Vail Fucci of Fucci's Photos, and welcome to another installment of Tips and Tricks for Your Wedding Day. Just about every bride I know tries to get into better shape before her wedding, so she can look her absolute best on her big day. Unfortunately, most of us don't have tons of time to go and hit the gym, so it's important to know where you're going to get the most bang for your limited exercise time buck. Most wedding dresses, combined with the great shapewear that's available to you nowadays, make it possible for us to hide our least favorite parts of our bodies. But if you're wearing a strapless dress or pretty much any wedding dress, your arms and your back are still going to be on display. So I went and first asked my husband for advice on exercises that would target these specific areas. And he pointed me to his workout Bible, Arnold Schwarzenegger's The New Encyclopedia of Modern Bodybuilding. But upon looking at this, I realized most of my brides they don't want to look like Arnold Schwarzenegger. They want to look like pretty brides. If you want to look like Arnold Schwarzenegger, this is a great resource, but I figured I had to go somewhere else. So I talked to my friend, Lauren Hefez, who is an amazing personal trainer in the area. And she created for you a quick and easy workout that you can do at home in under five minutes that will surely give you beautiful toned arms and a sculpted back so you can look absolutely amazing on your wedding day and in your wedding photos. I hope you find it helpful. Hello brides, my name is Lauren Hefez and I'm going to be your trainer for the next three minutes. So I've trained many brides and they always tell me, Lauren, help me get better arms. I need better arms. And this is very understandable. You're in your wedding dress and your arms are the most exposed part. So let me take you through about a three minute workout that you're going to do three to four times a week and it will help you with your arms, with your posture and to make you more mindful of that. So the first thing that you want to do is just pull your shoulders back. Nice and simply squeeze the shoulders. Now, this seems simple, it looks simple, but really what you're doing is you're opening your chest and you're working all the muscles in your back, as you can see here. So what you're thinking about is you're thinking about squeezing the shoulder blades together. So those two bony parts right here, you want to crush and release. And hold it for about two seconds. Crush, hold, and release. Crush, hold, and release. Now you want to make sure that you're not pulling your shoulder blades up here in your upper traps. You want to push your shoulders down and back. Beautiful. So you would do this for about two minutes, squeezing and releasing. And it's something that you can do easily at your desk or when you're driving or when you're doing the dishes. Just make sure you're constantly pulling your shoulders back. Next thing you're going to do is you're going to grab cans. Or you can grab about one to two pound weights. And we're going to work on lateral raises. So this might not seem like anything, but a lot of reps, light weights will be effective. If you have two, three, four pounds, that also works. If not, cans work just fine. So this exercise here, what we're working on here is our deltoids, our shoulders. So go ahead, go grab some cans and do this with me right now. As you're doing this, you still want to make sure your shoulder blades are squeezed. So I'm not rounded and pulling like this. Shoulders back, shoulder blades together, and you're lifting. This is going to make your exercise more effective. It's going to work your back at the same time. Now another thing to think about, and I honestly am feeling this already, my shoulders really, really squeeze back. You also want to think about not only letting your arms drop, but pushing against gravity. You want to make sure you're pulling down and keeping your shoulders down as well. Arms here, I want your palms to go up to the sky. I want you to pull your elbows in and reach. Good. So you're going to start like this, arms facing up, and then you're going to rotate. So watch my hands as they rotate down. I am feeling this like crazy in my shoulders and my arms. Please tell me you are too. <laughs> now you're going to hold this and you're going to squeeze and release. Again, shoulder blades together. Squeeze and release. Squeeze and release. Good. Hold it and release. Roll the shoulders back. Let's do it again. Grab those cans. You have this. Lift and lower. Now what are we thinking about? Arms are nice and long. Shoulders are squeezed back. Shoulder blades are together. Now, when, if, you're, if you're lifting, if you're getting tired and you start to feel some pain in your upper traps, 
You don't want that. You want to roll your shoulders back and you want to make sure your shoulders are away from your ears. If you start to feel pain here, that probably means that you're lifting like this. So take a look at yourself. Make sure when you're in the mirror, your shoulders stay down and they're not lifting up. Good. Let's do 10 more lifts. Nine. You're almost there. Eight. Seven. Push. Pull. Five. Four. Here we go. Bright arms. Three. Get those bright arms to you. <laughs> Last one. You're going to hold it up. Now I want you to reach. Bend. Press. Bend. Press. Keep those cans in your hands. Four. Three. Two. Now palms. Go up. Pull and press. Work it. Push it. Do it. Four. Three. Two, now give me a little turn, pull, turn, pull. You have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Whew. I bet these were about one pound each, so I definitely felt that. Shake it around, open up your chest, drop your neck to one side, roll around, and the other. Shoulders stay back. Thank you so much for joining me. I wish you the best of luck in your wedding, and I wish you nice, beautiful, sexy, long, lean arms. Please visit more of my videos to get tips on your whole body and not just your arms. Peace.